Act. Welcome to the Movie Summary Channel. If you like the featured video, please watch it in the theaters near you, or buy or rent the original movie from the links provided in the description. Like and share the video as it will help us out, and comment on what movies you like to be featured next. Movie Summary does not condone piracy, and follows and complies with the fair use law. Now, let's watch the feature video. Simply sit tight, relax, and enjoy the video. Be aware that there is heavy spoilers ahead. Give me a name. He was supposed to be dead. Give me a name. The film opens in Aleppo, where Navy SEAL John Kelly is with his team infiltrating what is allegedly a Syrian safe house to recover a CIA operative taken hostage. As the team heads in and takes out other gunmen, Kelly finds out that the men are ex-Russian military and that the place is a Russian arms depot, which was not disclosed to them. The hostage is recovered, but more gunmen attack, and one of Kelly's men is killed in a shootout before the Russian assassins are taken out. The team flies out just as the place gets bombed, and Kelly almost fights his superior deputy director Robert Ritter for not giving them full information on the captors. Three months later, Kelly is having a party with his pregnant wife Pam and other friends. Meanwhile, one member of Kelly's team, Rowdy King, is taking the garbage outside his house when a van runs him over and leaves him dead. Another man, Keith Webb, is talking to his wife on the way home from work when the same van is in front of him. A man gets out and shoots Webb dead so his wife can hear. Pam goes to bed while Kelly listens to music in the basement. The men from the van sneak around his house and cut the power. Kelly soon notices something suspicious and grabs a gun before investigating. The gunmen reach his bedroom and shoot Pam to death in bed, also killing her unborn child. One of the gunmen shoots one of his men dead and leaves him in the bedroom. Kelly kills the other two men before fighting and wounding the last man. He gets a brief look at the man's face before he escapes. Kelly, who was just shot, weakly crawls to the bedroom to find his wife dead. Ritter debriefs the rest of the team on the attacks, but his wording of the situation hits a nerve with the team's Lieutenant Commander Karen Greer due to Ritter suggesting the men targeted were involved with something dirty. Greer visits Kelly as he recovers, and he tells her that he didn't kill the third man in the bedroom. He asks for a name for anyone who may have had involvement in sending those men. While Kelly goes through recovery, Greer and Ritter meet with Secretary of Defense Thomas Clay and CIA Director Sarah Dillard. It is disclosed that one of the victims in the previous mission was the son of the head of the Federal Security Service. Knowing that the murders are foreign attacks on American soil, Clay wants to sweep this under the rug for fear that talks of conflicts between Russia and the U.S. may lead to another Cold War. Greer gives Kelly the name of the man who gave passports to the gunman, Andre Vaisleev. Kelly tracks face leave down and tails his security team. He manages to get cops to stop one of the vans before cornering face leaves car at the airport. He pins the car down and kills the driver before setting the car on fire and getting inside. He orders face leave to give up a name, but he tells Kelly that death follows him wherever he goes. Kelly shoots him once until Vaisleev gives up the name Viktor Rykov. Kelly shoots Vaisleev in the head before officers show up to arrest him. In prison, Kelly talks to Greer and gives her Rykov's name. Later, a guard orders Kelly to go with him, but he refuses since he isn't told where. Armed guards show up, but Kelly prepares by plugging a sink to wet the floor. He fights the guards until U.S. Marshal Kevin Townsend comes in with a phone for Kelly. Greer is on the other end, telling him to go with Townsend because he can trust him. 
Kelly is escorted to meet with Greer, Ritter, Clay, and Dillard, where he identifies Rykov in a photo lineup. Clay agrees to allow Kelly to join a team to extract Rykov from Russia, but he must return to jail after. Kelly and Greer fly with a Black Ops team to make a Halo insertion. Kelly tells Greer that he feels that if he went home earlier instead of doing another tour, he would still have Pam and their baby. Russian fighter pilots then fly near the plane and fire a missile at them, hitting the wing and sending the plane crashing into the barren sea. Most of the team makes it out alive. The team takes a boat to Murmansk to meet with Ritter. Kelly confronts him over intelligence leaks that may have been the reason why the Russians knew where to detect them. In a heated argument, Ritter says he's just trying to get to Rykov, but he was not responsible for the leaks. The team then heads on with the mission. They track Rykov to an apartment building, but Kelly goes off on his own against orders to finish Rykov himself. He finds Rykov strapped with a suicide vest, telling Kelly that both of them are pawns working for the same king, revealing himself as a deep cover agent with the CIA. He blows himself up, which causes part of the building to come down. A sniper then begins firing upon the team, killing one member, Dallas. Police also arrived on the scene. As the team hides, they come to the realization that they were set up to get caught as part of an attack to initiate a U.S. Russian war. Kelly offers himself as a distraction to give the team a chance to run. He diverts the police away from the building and then takes out the sniper before getting an officer and stealing his uniform to escape. He steals an ambulance and rejoins the team as they get away by boat. Kelly returns to D.C. and finds Clay in a bathroom. He incapacitates him and drives away with him. Kelly threatens Clay's family until he reveals that the mission was a setup to start a war in the hopes that a new Cold War may boost the U.S. economy to unite the country against a common enemy. Kelly then drives the car off the bridge and Clay, who is handcuffed, drowns. Kelly prepares to drown as well, even seeing a vision of Pam talking to him near a campfire. He says he misses her, but she assures him she is always with him. Kelly is given a funeral, but it is revealed that Greer used scuba gear to rescue him. She brings him to a train station so that he can start a new life. He is even given a new identity, John Clark. Midway through the credits, Clark meets with Ritter a year later. He tells him that, to prevent future conflicts, he would like to put together a team codenamed Rainbow. Ritter tells Clark it's good to have him back, to which he says that it's good to be back. Thank you for watching our featured video here in Movie Summary. I hope you have enjoyed watching our videos. Please like and share this video on your social media and subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Comment down below on what movies you like to be featured next and click the notification bell so that you will be notified every time we post new videos. Bye for now and see you in the next upload of our next videos. Give me a name. You were supposed to be dead. Give me a name.